It's time for some tech talk with Lou Norman. Talking about some tech for your car today. That's right. Good morning to you, Lou. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Dave. We're talking about the TIPM module in your car. T-I-P-M stands for the Totally Integrated Power Module in your vehicle. And it looks something like this. It's got fuses and relays and stuff on it. And everything in the vehicle flows through this TIPA module in, in, in some cars. And when these start to go bad, you can see all kinds of strange electrical problems. Uh, for example, what if your electrical wipers decide to start working without you pushing the button? Or you've got lights flashing or an alarm system that's going off for no apparent reason. Now, the TIPM is located typically above your tires inside the engine compartment. Not, not here, but actually above this liner. And so what happens is the salty air in Erie turns into almost like a fine mist and it finds its way up into these modules. We even had somebody come in the other day and this plastic liner that you see right here, this plastic liner, somebody went into a snow bank and then this plastic liner was kind of hanging off the vehicle and they decided, ah, we don't really need that and they kind of just yanked it out of the car. Well, this liner protects the electronics and uh, the things that you need for your car to run properly. So it's important that all these are in place. If you've got splash guards, if you've got liners, make sure everything is in the vehicle. Sometimes they're not cheap to replace, but I tell you what, you know how expensive a TIPA module is to replace? If one of these modules goes bad, it's well over $1,000. It's the brain for the electronics of your vehicle. And yes, located in the engine compartment. So we want to keep these guys safe, dry, away from the salt and anything else going on. And if you're having weird electrical problems in your vehicle, make sure you take it to someone who can really diagnose it. Because if you've got windshield wipers that are on their own going off or lights flashing or the alarm system sounding in the middle of the night. People can really spend a lot of time trying to chase it down when all that the whole time going on it was it was one of these modules. So I'm the electronics guy in Harbor Creek. For more information about what our shop can do for you, check out our website. It's enormous.net. That's E-N-O-R-M-I-S dot net. Click the contact us button. We'll see what we can do for you. Dave and Tom, back to you in the studio. All right, Lou. Thanks a lot. Lou knows his stuff. Good stuff there. Good information. Thank you, Lou. So glad I still do the horse and buggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to worry about any of those modules yes. or anything. No, I you hay don't. in the face and I'm all yep, set to yeah. go. There are other things you have to uh, pick up on, but that's for <laughs> And that day. goes right to my garden. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. I recycle. Don't, yeah. The, the guy knows. He's an environmental master. 20